and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a haul from the website and app Wish. And I'm sure you know all about Wish and how it's a crazy marketplace where you can get things for very cheap. I've wanted to get stationery there for a long time and, and I finally bit the bullet <laughs> and dived in and mixed all my metaphors and I went ahead and did it. This is what I got. So let's get right into it. First thing that I got, uh, let's start with the positives and then we're gonna build our way up to the more questionable things. So this is the first thing that I got. I haven't opened anything. I just took it out of the mailing package. So this looks really cool. It is a few deco stickers. I believe they're gonna be like washi tape. And this was I think I'm going to put on the screen um, screenshots of what they looked like, the listings looked like, so that you can get a sense of of everything. Oh, the backing is like plastic. Okay, so let's unstick one. Why is this so hard? It wants to take off my nail polish rather than unstick this sticker. Yeah, so it's like, it is, it's like a washi tape. So I think I'm going to be using this notebook just to do some testing. I didn't buy this on Wish, but I'm going to test some of these things in this notebook. So let's have a look. Super cute. Really lovely. There's a lot in here. I wanted to get affordable things and like, look at all of these. There's so many here. And it was only a few dollars. I'm from Canada, so I'm using the, like everything I paid for was in Canadian dollars. And so that's one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of the prices are like, if you find, you can find this same listing in several different shops because it is a marketplace. Is that how it's supposed to be? This sticker is off center. You have to just be very careful when you're shopping on Wish because as I'm sure you know, like it's very easy to get scammed and I was determined not to get scammed. Ooh, look at this background's all watercolor, so pretty. But it's all, it's off center. Okay, let's see. This one's better. So in all, I think this quality of this item is really nice. It's got a couple of sort of misprints, but in general, really cool. So I placed my order and I was all ready for it to take like months and months to get to me, but it ended up shipping quite quickly. I got a notification that everything shipped within a couple of days and then I ended up getting my items a couple of weeks later. So keeping up with the stickers, I also got this set of stickers and this one is like film and I think it is probably the same situation where it's like oh no it actually feels quite plasticky nelly wants them she's very curious about them they're not for you nelly they're for me i thought they were gonna be like washi tape like the other ones let's stick it down that's so funny i thought it was gonna be totally different quite sticky looks really cool actually it's got like this matte finish and this is another listing that i saw several listings for one of the tricky things about wish is that you have to make the right selection so you'll see a listing and it'll say that it's like three dollars for whatever and then you have like in the photo they'll have like this photo set oh look at this kitty <laughs> this is so cute Oh my gosh, I love this. So this, in this instant, I didn't get scammed. I just made a mistake and then I didn't um, read the description. <laughs> so you have to really read the description and be thorough and make sure that you're reading everything carefully. So I was, I thought I was getting a different set of stickers, but then when I got the email to verify my order, there was, I saw the picture of the actual one that I selected and it was this one. And unfortunately on Wish, you can't actually change your order after it's placed. So I placed my order and I looked at it and I said, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, they're kind of see-through as well. Kind of like real film. This one is a five-star product. I really like these. These are so cool. I can't wait to make a spread with these. So 
I couldn't change my order. Um, I could only cancel and then buy a different thing. And I decided not to do that for this one. And I'm glad because this is really nice. Five out of five stars. Super cool. Love this product. This is a kind of template thing. And I saw a lot of these on Amazon. And I wanted to get them, but they were so expensive. So I got this set and I am actually super surprised that there's so many of them. So here's the templates. Looks like the die cut wasn't perfect on this. Oh look, they've got little numbers in the corner too. So this is great for bullet journaling, especially if you have like a blank notebook rather than one with lines or like this. This is really cool. Or even like your like Happy Planner or Erin Condren Planner. These will be great. And it wasn't too expensive. Also remember that everything you buy on Wish, the price that you see is not the final price that you're going to pay because you have to pay for shipping for every single item and there's no way to, at least that I could find, to like go to a specific store and only buy from that store so to save on shipping. So unfortunately you do have to pay for shipping for every single item. So there's lots of really cool templates in here and they are... Like I said, like I was punching out a couple of the the little bits. Like I don't know if you can tell the little bits of plastic here. That's a lot of them. How many pieces? I think there's yeah, 12 pieces. Little templates. And these are going to be, I think, super useful because especially if you're like a person who like struggles to make to draw like banners and things, then maybe I'll test them out in a second once I have open up my pens that I bought. For now, let's go back to stickers. This is another little sticker set that I got of little cat. And it comes in this teeny tiny little box. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Can this be my theme next month? <gasps> He's in a baby in a box. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But okay, let's test the stickiness of them. Let's grab one that I'm not like obsessed with. This one that's like trying to get into a, a purse. The quality on these is not as good as the other stickers. But it's sticky and it's a more uh, shiny. So quality, not the best on these, but the colors look fine and they don't look like that are like off center or anything. Totally happy with these. And I think these were less than a dollar. I think these were like a dollar and something. Plus shipping, of course. Only thing is, I don't like that they're in, they come in this little box. Like, how am I supposed to store this? Okay. So those are the stickers. That's all the stickers. Last sticky thing is this washi tape. So another thing that I really wanted was a washi tape with newspaper on it found this listing several times and several times it was a bit expensive for me and then i found this listing that i thought was a total bargain um and of course i was wrong because as soon as i placed my order and once again that happened where i placed my order i saw the order in my email and it was for a different washi tape within that same listing so uh, I'll have it on the screen here to show you what that means is that you have you can see that within one listing there's like several different washi tapes and when you choose one when you go to buy and then choose one the prices are different so the one I wanted was actually a lot more expensive I wanted to return this but then I thought you know what this is also a cute washi tape why not I'll just grab this one instead it is a lot thicker like there's a lot more washi tape than I thought there was going to be and it's also like a thick wide washi tape and this one it's like words that say things like I love you love you make me feel special blah 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 feels like a good washi tape let's unfurl it a little bit cute proper washi tape sticky matte 
nice and wide and you have a lot of washi tape here like this is very thick so I'm happy with this I'm just not super happy that I ended up compromising and not getting the one that I actually wanted but this is really nice I'm definitely gonna be able to use this so next up let's do these so this is a set of water brushes so if you do watercolor you know how expensive these can be so I'll put the price on the screen this is a set of three and you get three sizes and I only have had one water brush so this is nice to kind of get some more so I noticed with this one it's a little bit not the best quality there's not a lot of bristles and the they're like already fraying and these look very similar maybe this one's just a bit longer they don't look like this one is like much thinner this plastic feels kind of thin but it is a water brush so it is supposed to be quite soft so that you can squeeze it let's open it up Oop. I was screwing the wrong way. Okay, so I put a little bit of water in there. Okay, that's so weird. Like, the the thread screws in, like, the opposite direction. Okay. So, from that very short little test uh these are cheap <laughs> quality is okay i guess you could use this but like the br the bristles kept like splitting up and it was hard to control so i'm gonna say this is um kind of like if you're i don't know i want i was gonna say beginner but if you're a beginner you really should just get good materials so I feel like when you're a beginner you definitely need to get at least student grade materials that you will be able to use so that you don't get frustrated and you don't suffer even like you're already a beginner you already don't know what you're doing you don't want your materials and your tools to also be like not good so okay I'll definitely use these I'm not saying that they're terrible I just feel like they're not the best um, which is a little bit disappointing and they're very light so speaking of subpar quality the next thing i got were these little pens they looked super cute on the listing they are little pill shaped little do doohickeys and they're really cute and they have little faces on them and it says vitamin ball pen <laughs> their little expressions are adorable but when I was opening the package, it was actually really funny because, like, listen. It sounds like it's broken, right? Like, whatever was in there is just rattling around like a freaking Kinder Egg. But this is how they work. Let's grab this one. And... Expands into a pen. Don't know what you're supposed to do with this. You can't really. Oh, it writes! Yay! <laughs> huh. It actually writes okay. I was a little bit worried, but I'm guessing. Yeah, the the plastic's very thin. The ink is probably only in there. It is most likely just in there, rather than the whole pen. Um, so it's gonna run out qu pretty quickly. But the ballpoint itself works. And you know what this would be good for? Um, is if you are always like losing your pen or you uh, forget your pen wherever. So you can just have a little compact little pen doohickey that you put in your purse or in your pocket or in your bag, in your backpack or something. And you know, you can put one in a lot of places. And so whenever you find yourself short on a pen, you can be like, oh yeah, but I have that spare pen in the bottom of my purse or the bottom of my backpack or something. Plus they're super cute, but I was a little bit disappointed in the quality of them. So let's grab another one. Let's see if observe anything else from opening a different one. 
Yeah, like, you can just sort of bend it around. So they are all blue, and you can see that this ballpoint pen part is, like, like <laughs> very loose. Since now we have a pen, let's test this little template thingy. Let's test it. Cool! Unfortunately, some level of coordination is required. Oh, this reminds me of those... Remember those things with the wheels and those things? You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know. That's cool. I like the triangle because triangles are something that can be a little tricky to draw, so... Cool! I like! And then you can sort of offset it to make like a little drop shadow. Like that. This is nice because it's not, it's, it's quite flexible, but it's not like, um, oh, I was using it the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I like the stencils a lot. I'm happy I bought those. These are a little bit of a novelty. Maybe this could be cute, like as a little present for like a small child. I don't know. <laughs> so as the finale to the saga, I got a little bit scammed by Wish. Um, I was not expecting it because as, as I said, I was very determined not to get scammed and I was, when I noticed issues, like when I saw in my emails that the thing that I ordered was like the wrong thing, I immediately returned two things. So the first one was a marker set that was supposed to be 36 markers for $4. And then when I got the email, I realized I was only getting one marker. So I was like, uh, okay, no. <laughs> so I returned it. I got very confused when I received this item. I looked at it and I'm like, what, what is this? I don't, I don't know what it is. I was sure they had just sent me the wrong thing and I was like, is this erasers or? What the heck is it? Like, sweets? And then I remembered. This is what I actually thought I was ordering. And this is what I got. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because what am I supposed to do with this? Because if I got what I actually wanted, which was a bunch of this wax and a little seal and a little up like colder thing to melt the wax then I could actually use this but I don't have any of that stuff that's why I was buying the set so what am I supposed to do with this the most frustrating thing is that this was this item is listed as six dollars so this is what they do they list they list the cheapest thing they put the price of the cheapest thing on the listing and then the picture is of the most expensive thing on the listing so you think, oh wow, what a deal. Um, and then you click on it and you realize, oh no, it's not really a deal. Somehow when I got the email, the picture was still of the set that I thought I was getting. So also, I can't really say that I was scammed because if you look at the options when you say buy, I guess I was just confused by the, the verbiage that they used and I assumed they meant when they said no tools, I'm, I thought it meant like, and I thought, oh, it, like, you don't get the box? Okay, whatever, I don't need the box, I just need the wax and the thing and everything else. It's extremely disappointing, I, but I feel like it's kind of my fault at the same time because I was not thorough enough. So this wish haul was pretty much a success except for that item. That was a big disappointment. And let me just say, this cost six dollars and then three dollars to ship so i paid nine dollars for 100 pellets of wax that i cannot melt because i don't have the tools of the things that i have received i really like these three items i think they're a thumbs up they're really good this is also good but not what i wanted this is okay perfectly good just the the presentation the storage that is a bit of an issue but good product it is what I thought I was getting so good cheap and if you're getting something cheap it's not gonna be the best quality so that was on me cheap cute almost unusable cheap almost unusable but I'm gonna use them anyway this was bad <laughs> this was very bad I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that 
don't want to uh, you know say that they're a big fat scam and everything on there is rubbish It's just that you have to be very very careful Read the description and make sure when you and if there's a drop-down menu and you can see like item ABC and you don't you're not a hundred percent sure which item in the listing is a and B and C Leave that listing just don't even don't even bother. It looks like it's cheaper than the other ones You can find it somewhere else. There's so many sellers on Wish that are selling the exact same thing. You can find what you want, just be very, very vigilant and don't go on there thinking that you're not going to get scammed and you're super clever like me. You're not, and I'm not. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that little stationery haul and little test of everything that I got and my little TED talk about how you shouldn't trust everything you see on the internet. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, let me know if you have bought anything from Wish before or maybe you wanted to buy something from Wish and you thought, no, it's crap, I don't ever want to buy anything from Wish. So let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!